Welcome to Purple Daisy Studio, art for early beginners. Hi and welcome back. The animal that we get to draw today begins with the letter S. And the first thing we need to do is check the Purple Daisy box to find out what's inside that begins with the letter S. You ready to look? Okay, let's look. We're drawing a sheep, and we'll see if we can get our drawing of a sheep to kind of look like this one, just using basic shapes and lines. The first line we'll create for our sheep is a U, or an upside down arch. And this will be for the sheep's head. We're going to draw a shape that looks like a cloud. You can think of it as a cloud, but it's just going to be curved lines all the way around to form the top of his head, that the wool that he has covering his body and, and his head. Then we're going to draw the same curve all the way starting at the top of, of his head up here, and then it will come around and go just underneath his um, this arch here. And you can do wide curves, smaller curves. They don't have to be the same. Just go slow so that you end up where you want to end up. We'll do a sideways U for his tail. His legs will be four vertical lines down. Just kind of space them out, two closer to the back and then maybe two closer to the front. Vertical lines down and a horizontal, small horizontal line across. And we'll add for his hoofs, we'll just add some other lines down, line across. Line down, line across, line up. And you could color those in just to add a little a little contrast, a little interest. And then his ears will be the sideways U's or sideways arches. His eyes will be ovals on a slant with a little filled in area there. His nose will be kind of a wide U or a wide upside down arch, vertical line down, and a little, a little smile. Then we can have fun with the texture, which will be just kind of go spirals. Kind of going different directions. Just take your time with this. It's not always easy to create these spirals. But just, you're creating an almost circle, but then you just kind of keep going inside. You don't attach them, you just let them keep going. You can also call them little curly cues. And there's our sheep. Did you know that an adult female sheep is called a ewe and an adult male sheep is called a ram? I'll write sheep in case you'd like to write it with me. S H E E P Sheep. Thanks a lot for drawing with me today. And I hope I get to see you next time when we draw an animal that begins with the letter T. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you.